Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to create your own APIs to classify a piece of text whether it is toxic or not toxic and also you know into this six uh, different classes for checking the toxicity of the piece of text like uh, toxic, obscene, insult, identity hate, threat or severely toxic. So let's get started. Before we move forward, uh, I would like to show you the Git repository which I am going to use and it is created by me. Uh, you can get the link of this repository in the description of this video. And if you use this Git repository, please consider giving it a star that helps. Uh, one more thing is that you need to download the files uh, and model from this uh, hugging face a unitary toxic bird uh, there are these things that you need to download so what you can do is that copy the link of uh, this unitary uh, toxic bird and use uh, git clone git clone and the link of the repository in order to download all the files in case you are not able to download the large file you need to install uh, git hyphen lfs and then you can use this git clone command so we are going to use this model now here i am in my visual studio code and i have downloaded the uh, repository on my local machine and i also have downloaded the model as well the first thing i'll do is that i'll create a virtual environment so for that i'll use python hyphen m v e n v and my virtual environment name is v e n v i'll source into my virtual environment The next thing I'll be doing is installing all the required dependency to run the project and it is available inside requirements.txt file. So I'll use pip install-r hyphen for a file path and that is requirements.txt in the root. So when I hit enter, it will install all the required dependency from this requirements.txt file. Meanwhile, let me walk you through the code. So we have this run.py which is our entry point and which starts the flask application which is inside a toxic command folder src and this app.py. So here in app.py we have a flask application. I have also used course so that in case you know any cross origin resource sharing error occurs we can you know cater that then we have this home route and this uh, app api dot text where we will pass our uh, piece of text and it will you know generate the response for us so this is just a simple uh, python function uh, i'll check whether the income request has a json body or not if it has a json body and it has a text key then we will use check toxicity function and return the response otherwise we will say that uh, the request has no parameter text otherwise we will say that uh, request has no body in case of it is not json so this is just a simple python flask application api endpoint now here in the model.py inside model folder uh, I'm, I'm using transformer to load this BERT model. So I'll create a tokenizer and a model and I'll load that model onto a device. Uh, sorry, I need to write uh, device here. Uh, yeah, so I, I have written logic. If CUDA is available, use that. Otherwise, use CPU. Now, what happens is that uh, whatever input we provide 
to this check toxicity function that is tokenized using tokenizer and this input which has attention marks and input ids and everything is go uh, is passed to this model this model provides the output uh, we create a sigmoid function and pass uh, this output logits to sigmoid that will provide the probabilities and these probabilities is then used to you know what i have used is that out of uh, 100% if and the probability is more than 85% i'll consider that as a uh, true so toxic is true in case the probability is uh, bigger than 0.85% you can change that according to your need and if something goes wrong i'll just say that error at the model level also i have created a logger as well so that you know uses this uh, system as study out to log everything uh, let me upgrade pip so this is the overview of the project we have run.py our entry point app.py is our flask application model.py is where we load the model from this bert folder and create tokenizer create model move that model to device and then use uh, our text to create input uh, pass that to model use sigmoid function uh, for generating probabilities and then use this for loop to make sure that whenever the probability is greater than 0.85 we make that true so that toxic is true in case uh, the probability of that is uh, bigger than 0.85 now i think all the things are installed what i can do is that i can use python run.py and this will spin up uh, the flask server and that will expose our endpoint this uh, api uh, text so let's just wait for it to load uh, yeah i think it is loaded now so i'll go to my insomnia i have this check toxicity request which is api test and i'll pass uh, this text uh, into json so when i hit send yeah it will you know uh, provide the response so let me write something toxic which i actually don't like but just for demonstration purpose let's say i will kill you so you can see that threat is true uh, toxic is true in the case of this sentence so you know you can deploy this on a server and sell this api on rapid api or any other platform where you can generate some revenue out of this work and i hope uh, you have gained some knowledge out of this video and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace